Hi, everybody. This is my first time at a Story Slam of any sort whatsoever, so thank you for having me. How many people are recently single? Just me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm not alone, that makes me feel good. I'm recently single, and I want to tell you about her. Uh, we met on OkCupid, and our first date was terrible. She was late, totally missed like an hour of the date, and then I had to retell everything that had happened. <laughs> After I told it to her, we got some drinks and decided to not really speak to each other for like two months. And then she called me up one time and we went out and it was much better and we started to go out for real. Um, but then I saw her dancing with some other guy one night and lay down the law, okay, are we together or are we not? And we decided to be together for a little while until we decided not to be together for a little while. <laughs> she just couldn't handle really being in a one-on-one -on -one kind of relationship with me and that was okay, that's not what she wanted, so we moved on. And then Christmas rolled around and I really wanted to see her again, so I called her up and she came over and we went to a Christmas party and everything was great for, a l for some time and she started to get unhappy in Philadelphia. I love Philly, I don't know, how do you guys feel, all right? Yeah. But it wasn't for her, she was from the South and you know, we have winter. <laughs> so she started to look for jobs elsewhere and this was the summer. So I said, I'm pretty sure I can do my job anywhere. Why don't I go with you? I loved her that much that I was willing to, to leave Philadelphia and all of you wonderful people and go wherever she wanted to. And it turns out that was Austin, Texas. All right, yeah, I have some pretty positive feelings about Austin. So I thought, great, let's go to Austin. And at first she was totally into it. And then it started to get a little bit closer and she started to think, well, do we really wanna live together? And I was like, we don't have to live together. Don't worry about it. We'll just go to Austin and figure it out from there. And then she started to think, well, moving together is like more intimate than anything. So I said, let's try some things, okay? Let's meet my family, right? Come, come meet the rest of my family and you'll know more about me and see how it goes. We did that, it was great. She still didn't know. So she said, let's travel together. And so I booked a trip to Montreal for the weekend. And we traveled together and it was great. And then we came back and she was like, well, I don't know. And then I started to kind of know in my head and in my heart, this was not going to work out. But it wasn't time for her to move yet. So we really hung on to the very bitter end. She left December 21st and December 20th, I was holding her in my arms before she went to the airport. And that's it. Good night.